before. If not, you're in for a real treat, okay? Um, if so, keep the secret. <laughs> anyway, so we start off like this. Uh, I've actually got a, a ring here. I'm going to take that off. We'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, obviously, both my hands here. So if you watch carefully, I'm going to reach over and grab something and put it on my finger. Like this. <laughs> can actually make a ring appear. Um, if you check it out, I can actually put it on my, my finger like so. Can you see that? So if you watch the ring, I'm going to take it. I can actually throw it back onto my finger like this, <laughs> which is crazy. If I put it on my little finger, check it out. You can see it on my little finger. It's actually on there. It's not coming off. It's not a trick ring or anything. You watch three, two, just put it off. Like so. Uh, a bit weird, right? I, I always like to start start thing off something a bit strange. Um, but that's like a little warm up. I'm actually going to go into some card stuff because that's what I specialize in, uh, cards and coins mainly. Um, so here I actually have, um, which is funny enough, um, a travel version of a pack of cards. So here I've actually got um, 54 cards in a pack right here. People think I'm a bit crazy. Um, you'll find out later on, but I I'm going to show you something here. Like, I'm going to fold it up. You can see. Can everyone see basically what I'm doing? I might have to angle my screen, but yeah, I'm going to take the bit of paper. I'm going to screw it up at just the end like this. Can everyone see that? Okay, so if you watch, here I have a lighter, so I'm going to move it down just slightly so you can see what I'm doing. Like so, can everyone see that? So you watch carefully, I light it, one, two. <laughs> and I've just angled up, I can actually show you that inside, it's actually 54 cards if I'm correct. The whole pack playing cards. Uh, as I told you, it's a travel version of playing cards. You didn't believe me. Well, there you go. Shouldn't trust a magician unless they're doing it properly. So, uh, can anyone, get, can I get someone to shout stop? If anyone's there, maybe someone shout stop. If not, uh, anyone else? Is it, I don't know if they can hear me or they could probably hear me, but I don't know if I can hear them. But yeah, anyone, anyone say stop? Stop. stop. Oh, there we go. Lovely. There's a voice. Okay, so watch. Okay, so here's your card. I'm going to turn away. And this is your card, okay? This one here. Can everyone see it? Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. So remember it. I'm going to put it in here. Am I actually going to get you to say stop again for me one more time? Stop. Very good. There we go. So watch, I'm placing your card into the pack, okay? Now I'm going to try and find your pack or find your card, sorry, with one hand. Again, I'm going to angle it down just slightly. So if you watch carefully, one handed. I'm going to try and find your card, which is directly about here. <laughs> With any luck, um, should be the Jack of Diamonds. It's the Jack. That wasn't the card, was it? I could tell straight away with the expression on your face. It's fine. So watch. Think about your card. And obviously, I've got the Jack of Diamonds here. I want you to picture your card in this space. Now, Obviously, I'm not even going to touch the card. I'm just going to make it move. Watch three, two, one. Did you see it move? Yeah, you saw it move. For the first time, what was your card? Can you say it out loud? Nine of hearts. Nine of hearts. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So and that was it. <laughs> Good. Okay, so we're on to a winner here. So what I'm going to get you to do, um, I'm actually going to get, can I, can I get your initials? I'm going to write them down on the card. M H. M H H. And can you pick a shape, like a circle, square, triangle? I just want to make it as, as bespoke as possible. Uh, square. S I like your style, madam. <laughs> Thank square. you. Cool. Okay, are you happy with that? So we've got M H on there with a square. Yep. Yeah. Does anyone want to add anything else? This doesn't have to be technically uh, her card. It could be anyone. So let me know if you want me to put anything on there. I'm more than welcome. If you're happy with that, I'll carry on. <laughs> so here we go. I'll give you just in case you think these are in particular order, I'll give you a little bit of a shuffle. Does anyone do any magic, by the way? Because I know, I know, you know, people dabble here and there. Um, I'm actually a member of the Magic Circle. I don't know if anyone is or you've even heard of it. Um, but yeah, we specialize in this kind of thing. So uh, your card's here. Again, um, say stop. I want to make it as fair as possible. Stop. 
perfect. Chill out. So, and I said at the very beginning how many cards are in a pack, right? Can someone tell me? Just so I know you're listening. <laughs> what? Two. 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 There we go. Three now. That's the that's what you can use brain, so it's good. Diamonds. You see that six diamonds? So watch the six, okay? I don't want to go out of camera sight, so watch the six. I'm going to, obviously, sleeves rolled up. Six is there. So I'm going to come a bit closer. You guys can really see this, really. Watch one, two. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, which is cool. And that's definitely your card. So what's nice about this is that we can take the nine. OK, I want you to watch. So we'll watch the nine. OK, again, I'm going to put the nine in the middle. You can see it going in the middle. Yep. Here's the move. Ready? That was it. It's really quick. But it happens. Did you catch it? Wow. <laughs> um, what we can do, actually, I, I tell you what, we'll, we'll, we'll put it we'll put it quite far in. So I'll, I'll take it about here, which is your card. Obviously, I'm going to put it in the pack. So you can see it going. So now it's not on the bottom, it's not on the top, or even second from top, okay? Mm -hmm. So I can't even do that move, but watch. If I do this, here's the move. It jumps. <laughs> if we take the nine, put it in about here, and obviously here we have, still have the seven on the bottom, and here we have the jack of clubs. Mm -hmm. Now what's quite interesting about the jack of clubs, you can actually make the card change. So watch, ready? You can see the jack here. So I'll just raise it up slightly. There we go. So watch the jack. Three, two, one. <laughs> Did anyone watch Ant-Man? Has anyone seen Ant-Man? Because he does that. <laughs> I watched the other day and he does. Yeah, right. OK, so you can learn it off YouTube as well, guys. But it's better if you learn it with me, just to let you know. Anyway, <laughs> uh, there's different ways of doing this. I see if I can try and do it this way. This is more the showy off way. It's interesting though. <laughs> that takes a bit more practice. Uh, to bring your card back is a bit harder, but it's possible. All you've got to do is take the joke, take the jack just here. If you watch the jack, I'm gonna, just gonna hear and just blow. Any questions so far? <laughs> we'll keep going, it's fine. Um, so, at this point, what I like to do, because we've signed it, we've got you to sign it. Uh, obviously, there's no two cards with this on there, OK? Um, I mean, I'm a magician, but I'm not that good. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to bend it in half. See the card here. Let me know if you can't see. I mean, I, I'm trying to make this, the angles as good as possible. It's quite hard when you've just got one camera stuck to your computer. But anyway, I'm going to bend it like this. You can see I'm actually bending the card. It's got a massive, massive crease in it. OK, now watch. If I cut it down to about here, you can see that crease, correct? You can see the card, right? So watch, check it out. I want you to imagine that it starts from here, starts to work its way up. Can you do that for me? That's it, perfect. Watch, three, two, one. And if I lift it up, wrong card. <laughs> Now, obviously, I could be doing this all day long. I mean, it is my job, but uh, um, I want you to catch me out. If anyone, if anyone knows how it's done, let me know. I like to always make myself better. I mean, I don't know if you're hearing anything, if they're telling you how it's done. Um, <laughs> maybe they're just stunned in silence. Who knows? But watch. So, look, we've got, the, got your card there. Uh, do you know what this is called in my hand? Anyone? Do you know what this is called? It's called a wasted childhood. Too much time on my hands. <laughs> I'm joking. So what? So just me trying to be funny. Sorry, it's bad jokes, good magic. But anyway, here we go. Ready? Watch. So nine of hearts goes in, and I want you to say stop for me. Someone say stop. 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 Oh, there's a few ones there. I like it. Getting more and more involved. So I want you to virtually push this in. Virtually push it in. Very good. Very good. Like your style. So watch. Here we go. So your card should be. Here. Oh no, sorry. Here. Uh, one of these. Right here. I think it's somewhere. Is it? Oh, so can't talk because I've got a card in my mouth. Sorry. 
that does happen. <laughs> anyway, with all that going on, I'd like to change it up. So I'm going to use my phone this time. Um, I normally use your phone, but that can't happen. So I'm going to use mine. Uh, we'll just put this down on the table. Here I've got my phone. I'm going to show you guys, okay? So I'm going to hand this down to you. Again, you can see here, which is perfect. So I've got the packet cards here. I'm actually going to turn them over. I'm going to lock my phone. And I've got a special app helps me track down the card. So if you check it out, can everyone see that, by the way? I mean, I'm going to try and bring this as close as possible. Yeah, we're good. So watch the phone. Watch the packet cards. So ready? Watch one, two, and then it appear. I don't know if you can see that. I've actually appeared at a card in my phone. Can you see that? I can actually yeah. pick it up. I can move it around. Watch. Check it out. Three, two. And if I just show you here, so I'm going to put my phone down, a one card. <laughs> which, is, which, is, which is fun. I, I like it. I like it. What's quite cool, though, um, another thing that I always like to try is that you can actually try and make the pack vanish, so to speak. So if you watch, I'm, you've got the pack of cards here. You can see the pack of cards, correct? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. So watch, I'm going to put my hand on top. OK, look, sleeves rolled up. There's nothing else apart from my phone. I'll get rid of that on the table. OK, so watch, put my hand on top like so. I'm going to take the top card out. Which is yours. But watch, OK, here I've actually um, I've got my uh, I've got my glass here. If I touch on the back of my hand, it's really cold. But to the point that actually makes the pack completely see through. Watch every card comes invisible. <laughs> which, uh, which, which uh, hasn't really got much use now using paperweight, but there we go. Um, <laughs> voila, so that's the kind of card stuff that I like to do. Uh, any requests, maybe any questions, maybe I could do a request that you sit on TV, bearing in mind um, I'm at home. <laughs> um, but if not, we'll, we'll crack on, we'll crack on. I'm gonna put this over here. Uh, please grab, grab a drink or anything. I'm just going to get a quick drink. If you haven't got one, please grab one. Um, you know, it's always nice to have a beverage when you're watching some magic. Right. This is a, this is like an observation test. So, um, you know, you've just graduated. Congratulations. Uh, what a great feeling. Um, but I want to test those nerve endings because after a while, they will fade out a bit, but I reckon right now, now you just finished uni, they're going to be the sharpest they've ever been. So I'm going to do an observation test with you, okay? Here I have some cards. So I'm going to give you five seconds to take in what's in my hand, okay? You ready? Five, four, three, two, one, and the test begins. Are you ready? Oh, you look like you're ready. I love it how you just tuned in the perfect time. Here we go. Are you ready? So what? How many cards was I holding in my hand? Correct. Anyone else? It's, please shout out if I, I, I can't see you at the moment. Five. Five. Oh, five. Cool. Five. Yeah. five. Yeah, correct. Five. OK, what was the face of the last card I was holding? Not the back, the face. Oh. What was it? Did anyone see? Shall I let you know? A lot of people say blank. It was actually an ace. Uh, the reason why is because a lot of people miss it because there's one pip in the middle. There's a lot of negative space. So you can give off the illusion it's a blank card. When actually it's not. Um, but the thing is, though, if you missed the ace, then you wouldn't have missed that the backs were actually red, not blue. And if you missed the red backs, then you would have missed the raw flush I was holding in my hand. <laughs> basically who wants to go down to the casino because i'm not allowed <laughs> but i can give you advice i use my powers for good and not evil at the end of the day um little observation test there for you i always like to do that one with my clients um it always makes their head scratch um a little bit makes their head head itch so i think that's always quite funny um I, short and sweet mind you though short and sweet i, I never like to um uh, I never like to dwell on too long, long tricks. I always like to do things that are short, punchy, Instagram kind of stuff. Um, this is quite interesting. If I show you this, um, inside my phone, 
I actually have um well I have I have a magic eight ball. I'll just show you one second. Let me try and find it. It's here somewhere. So if I if I've got my phone here, I mean everyone can see that, right? If I snap my fingers, you can make a, an eight ball appear. Well, I'll try that again, really. Watch one, two, three. There we go. You see that? <laughs> now, obviously, this is in my screen, right? But if you can make it look like a reality, it could look like that. That's weird. Um, what you can actually, you can actually take the eight ball. This is a real eight ball, by the way, um, which is quite interesting. You can actually take the eight ball if you bow. Back, it's back in the phone. Anyway, um, <laughs> like I said, short and sweet. I like to do things that are quite punchy and short. But anyway, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need uh, someone to help me with this next stuff. Um, this is something that's gonna be. Um, I'm gonna get you to pick a number between one and fifty. But before you do that, I need to just gather a bit of information. So bear me one second. I'm actually gonna write down uh, a prediction here. I've got to write one down. Um, it's actually going to be a celebrity. I don't know if you might, you might know the celebrity or not, but I'm going to write one down. I, I believe everyone will know this guy or, or girl. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there. Uh, I've got my pen just here. So um, I don't know who, who wants to have a go with this, but... Um, before we before we get someone to shout out a uh, a number, so I want I want you to get a few numbers in your head, and we're actually going to whittle it down to one number technically, but it's between one and fifty. But I want it to be kind of a fair choice, you know. I don't want it to be from just one person. Um, I like to sort of um, give the option, give a bit of variety. Uh, we're also going to need a lollipop, um, which I'm going to need. Um, you can actually make one. You can just sort of grab one from up here. You can sort of just make one appear. Yeah, which is interesting, <laughs> as one does. But uh, Mm. Guess what flavour this is? Does anyone can anyone guess? Strawberry. It's actually banana, but you're close. <laughs> right. um, they're, they're a bit like that in the magic world. It's all, all a bit backwards, but uh, mm. um, and another random question. You might have to help me out. With this favourite superhero. Has anyone got a favourite superhero at all? Yeah, lovely. Go on. shut them out. Go for it. What was that again? Sorry. It's good. Who? One yeah. more time. The magician. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Black Panther. Black Panther. Fantastic. That's a good one. So, I have a list here, but for the first time, I, I want to, can you just shout a few numbers at me? Is that all right? Um, uh, any numbers from one to 50? Shout a few out. Let's say four. 10. 10. 38. 38. 17. 17. One more. 27. 27. Okay, so uh, out of those four, should we should we take it to 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 uh, um? I oh, know someone shout me out one more number. Go for it. 25. 25. So should we should we add maybe two together? How do you get back over your thing, Amy? I reckon. You know what? We'll go with 35. I think we're just going to go for 35. So look, if I go into here. I've actually got a, a, a list, as you can see this, I've actually got a list of quite a few things. Uh, the one we're actually focusing on tonight is the top 50 superheroes, or today, should I say. And here I have a list of a lot of superheroes. I mean, they're all numbered. There are actually 100 here. And I keep going. I'll just show you here. So they're actually none are repeated. They're all, they're all different. But you chose number 30... 35. So if you look at number 35, can you see what it is? No. You need to go up just a little bit. There mm -hmm. you go. Perfect. Yep. There we go. What is it? Is it it's the, the Hulk? Hulk? Interesting. Okay. Is that anyone's favourite superhero? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes the Hulk. Don't ask me why. Maybe he's just quite angry. Um, and, and if I go back here, I've actually got... Um, Top 50, I've got the uh, celebrities. And again, I'm going to go through these. You can just see these all different. 
And if I go through, I'm going to keep going just so you guys can see. I'm just trying to find your number. So you've got number 35. So here we have Tom Hanks, if I can show you there. Can you see it? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So, so we've got Tom Hanks and we've got, um, we got, I, we got uh, the Hulk. If I come down here, I wrote actually a prediction uh, earlier on. I actually wrote down Tom Hanks, which is quite strange. But I tell you what, if you come up here, this is my favourite one. Because I can make the lolly turn into the Hulk if I just uh, bring this a bit closer. Can everyone see that? <laughs> is that is that clear? Can everyone see that? <laughs> you buy a Hulk lollipops? Hey, Hulk lollipops, only around here. Only around here. <laughs> So a bit of lollipop mentalism there, which I uh, which I always think uh, goes down a, a nice treat. So now we're going to go into a bit of uh, a bit of SpongeBob, bit of SpongeBob stuff, which I really enjoy. We need a first things first. We need a SpongeBob. I don't know if you can see. I've got like a red red hanky. What's quite strange at the red hanky, you can actually make a ball of it by magic. It's really weird. Um, Obviously, with this in mind, you can actually take uh, the ball and I can actually saw it down the middle. So watch, if I take the ball here, saw it down the middle, like so. Can you see that? <laughs> like so. So if you watch, I'm going to put the first one in the hand. Take this one, give it a wave, can actually vanish. It goes, you've just got one ball. Uh, if you if I come a bit closer here, I'm gonna raise it up just slightly. So if I go here, you can actually make the ball go in this hand, I blow. It's gone again. Um one actually becomes out the uh out the screen, it's just there. Uh the other one, it's actually interesting. If I angle it down, I've actually got my pen here. And if I do the pen, it actually comes out the pen lid. <laughs> Bit strange. Now, now we're actually going to play a game, sort of like listening and watching in a way. So if you've got them here. Well, what I want to do, I've got, actually got a third one here as well. OK, so we've got three. OK, so I've got one in my pocket. OK, one in my hand. This one goes in my pocket. How many in my hand? One, right? Could be one. We'll do it again. Watch. So one in the pocket, one in the hand. This is one. I'm slowly going to put it in my pocket. How many in the hand? Two. So, uh, last time, I promise. This time I won't trick you, all right? I won't use magic. So we do two. We've got two here. Two in the hand. One in the pocket. How many in the hand? Nice and easy. One. One. Anyone else? Three. Why? I, I should put money down. I would have won on that, I think. We cleaned up. <laughs> None. Anyway. Um, <laughs> don't worry. Not a lot of people. Do you know what? Kids actually get that more than adults. Don't know why. Don't tell me why. They just do. Anyway. So a little SpongeBob thing. I like to do that in people's hands. Obviously, we can't do that because of the whole sort of social distance thing. But um, yeah, are there any questions so far? I don't want to feel like I'm just being a machine gun of magic and just reeling off loads of things. Um, maybe we can even try some mentalism. Who knows? I mean, does anyone want their mind being read? OK, let's try it. Let's go. Now, is it is, is it Camille? Camille? Camille. Camille, sorry. Yeah, no problem, that's fine. I'm severely dyslexic, so I'm, I'm terrible with names, but very good at magic. No, that's fine. <laughs> now, bear with me. Now, this is something that I've been trying out through the camera. Um, it's mind reading. Hey, it can always go wrong. Not, I can't always go right. If it went always right, you're not going to believe it's mind reading. So this can go wrong, just to let you know. And if it goes wrong, it's whatever. We can always do something else. But I've got a good feeling about it. So 
Um, what I want to do, um, Camille, um, can you, I want you to draw an image in your head. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a shape, like a, like a circle or a square or a triangle. Um, it could be something like a, an animal or it could be, um, you know, uh, something to do with the park or, um, you know, just sort of normal everyday objects that we see. Um, I want you to draw one of those in your head. Something that means something to you in some sort of way, OK? But not too obscure, mind you, something that we all know about. For example, it could be a dog. Um, you know, it could be a tree. Uh, you know, the list goes on. So something simple. You got it? Yep. Fantastic. OK. And have you drawn it in your head already? Yes. Very good. You're actually doing that because you look to the you look to the left, which is uh, <laughs> which means it's the truth. Um, OK, cool. So. Um, is this something that everyone will know? Yeah. Fantastic. And um, is it something tailor made to the university or something more to yourself? Um, to myself and to most people, really. All right, cool. OK, fantastic. So for the first time, I'm, I've got a pack of cards here, by the way. But for the first time, what's the image you drew in your head? Uh, a basketball. Wow. OK, interesting. Is there any reason why? Um, I just like to go outside and have fun and play basketball. Mm, I like that. OK, cool. So with that in mind, it's really interesting. Um, I'm going to get here. So you're thinking of basketball for the moment. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out um, my pack of cards. They, they suddenly just vanished. Um, and I'm going to get you a card. One second. So that's really strange. You thought of that. Now, from the basketball, does that remind you of anyone that you would play basketball with? <laughs> yeah. OK, cool. OK, right. We're in something. OK, cool. So is something that you play, is it is it regularly, like on a weekly or monthly basis? I'd probably say monthly. OK, cool. All right. Interesting. Um, and I don't want you to tell me this, but I'm, I'm going to figure out if it's a, a boy or girl. We'll come back to that later. So I'm going to get you to say stop at some point whenever you like. Stop. Perfect. I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to show you this. So if I just turn around, I'll show you. So you've got that card, OK? Yep. You've got it in your head? Yep. OK, perfect. Cool. Um, and we're going to just do one more as well, just to be safe. Perfect. So if you just say stop for me again at any point, any time you like. Stop. Yeah, perfect. So we've actually got two cards here, OK? Um, I feel I haven't seen them, but I, I'm I'm feeling I want to go with this one more. So I'm going to put this one back, if you don't mind. All right. So and I just I want you to keep that in your mind. So I'm actually going to leave that, you know, in the pack. So I, I can't see. It. I'm going to put it here. OK, so think about that card. OK. And bearing in mind, I want you to also think about that person as well. OK. Now, does the card, the second card I showed you, does that have any any re 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 revelation? or relation to uh, the person you're thinking of? Does the card have any relation at all? Um, yeah, I guess. Maybe. Obviously, with all this going on. OK, so can you tell me, do you know the, the person's initials? Uh, yeah, BB, Bravo, Bravo. Interesting. And you picked a basketball. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. oh, hey, I'm hey, this is. <laughs> Uh, that's interesting. OK, right. Do you know what's weird? I'm, I'm going to show you something really strange here. OK, so I've obviously got my prediction here and I'm going to leave it down on the table. I'm going to move my mat out of the way because this, this is where it starts to get a bit messy. Like so. Um, and I'm going to leave my card just here on the table, OK? And I want you to, um, I've got a tea bag here. You ever heard of tea reading before? Like a tea yeah. reading? And, yeah. and you heard of palm reading? Yeah. So we're going to combine the two together, because that's just the kind of guy I am, OK? So I'm going to combine the two together. What's really strange, uh, for the first time, the second card you chose, what was it? Um, oh, the one they showed me, uh, Four of Hearts. Interesting. I, 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 that's what you call hitting the nail on the head right there, <laughs> which which I'm really happy. But listen, this is where it starts to get weird. And I like weird. I think cool, you know, cool magic is another thing. Weird magic is a, a whole different ball game. Pardon the pun, ball game. There we go. Watch. I'm actually going to pause on the back of my hand. You can see that. Like so. 
Can everyone see that? Mm -hmm. And what's interesting, so I want you to think about it. Obviously, the, the, the initials BB, right? Yeah. And I want you to try and imagine it in the tea leaves. So if you watch carefully, I'm actually going to start to shake my hand or just tip. <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> BB, right? That's that's. So, yeah. hey, and I like that because it ties in with basketball very nicely. That's cool. Um, right, just give me give me two minutes just to clear clear this up, and then I'm going to crack back on with the show. Okay. Okay. Now, you could actually just brush this off. Again, this is something that I like to do on the other person's hand and things, but um, actually, at the moment, but it still works great through camera. So hey, I'm happy with it. But um, right, give me two minutes, and I'll be with you. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Thank you. So, guys, who's enjoying the magic so far? Turn your mics on for a sec. Who's enjoying it? Who's having a good time? Yeah, we're enjoying it. Woo! There we go. I got some people. Nice. Thank you very much. Yeah. I can't walk on water, just to let you know. That's oh, what so that's that's I can't do. Next request. I was it? Oh, no. I, I can drink. You walk on water <laughs> and uh, levitate for me. I mean, hey, I, I can I can make a pack of cards appear with fire, you know, so I think that's one last one level. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. <laughs> oh, if anyone has any requests, by the way, because I do have some people, they do always like, can you do this? Can you do that? So because um, there's still a lot of things in store yet that I haven't done yet. But um, yeah, if anyone's got or any questions in general, because I know I uh, decided to do magic. Sorry, say it again, sorry, what was that? How did, how did you decide to do magic? Oh, wow, really good question. So I'm, I, I, I openly admit that I like to be centre of attention. I always <laughs> have done since a young child. It was very obvious. I always like the attention on me. So when I was young and I performed magic tricks, and obviously, you know, when you're younger, everyone praises you. Um, and, it, and it's a great feeling. So you, 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 um, you, you I think that you, you got that feeling of like you boost your self-esteem. And I think I figured that out from such a young age. And obviously me being the person I am, I'm very outgoing and approachable and I, you know, I can I can go over and hold a conversation without bringing any, any magic at all and just talk their ear off. So I've, I've always been a talker and I've always just put um, magic as like a, a substitute. It's like a backup. You know, if I need a bit of money, I can always pop down the road with a pack of cards and a pen and hopefully try and get a gig somewhere. Um, and from that, it's just it's just manifested. It's always been I went to uni. I did graphic design. Um, and I do my all my own graphics, but uh, magic, you know, overtook really what I was doing. It was it was going off. You know, I was getting, you know, probably about 20, 25 inquiries a day. Um, and, and it just sort of good word of mouth spreads. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, I do all my own. I do all my own branding. I do all my own. Um, I did communication design. So I know how to communicate, um, you know, if I wanted to communicate things in a certain way, in a stylish way. Uh, using certain typefaces and I feel like in magic a lot of people don't do that kind of stuff they're very um, uh, they break a lot of rules when it comes to design and I think design really uh, makes you stand out from other brands and um, people can see that you're on trend you're you're trendy and and, um, and I think that's important you know when it comes into um, any kind of career in a way with magic or I don't know what what you guys have passed in or, or got a degree in but um, it, it's it's always you can always find a use out of it in some way you know um, which I think is great. Uh, it just shows how versatile you are. Um, but if you ever want to learn magic, let me know because I, I can teach. I do do tutoring, so <laughs> one of the, one of those things. <laughs> is there any other questions? Like, can I guess your phone number? <laughs> no. All right. Fair enough. Right. We're going to crack on. We're going to go on to something a little bit different now. Uh, do you guys want to see another cards or something different? Something different. Something different. Always something different. Right. OK, cool. So I'm going to do a little bit of coin stuff. I think you guys will like coins. These are these are quite interesting. I'm going to move this a little bit closer. One second. Mm -hmm. 
right, here we go. That's better. Can everyone see me okay? So here I have a old school uh, penny. Um, and I want to say old school, it was uh, 1967. <laughs> uh, here I've got a, a half dollar from America. And here I've got another penny. OK, so I have two pennies and a half dollar. OK, and just just watch. OK, here we go. So. Sleeves rolled up as well. Can everyone see that? So I'm just going to angle this down just slightly here. Perfect. So I'm going to put all the coins into my hand. You can see them all here and pass them over. So if you watch, we've got one, two, three, right? So check it out. The first one is going to jump over. Ready? Watch one, two. I'll do it again. OK, so watch. Here we go. Can you see? So one, two. Jumps. <laughs> if we go here, for example, you can see them here. So the first coin jumps over. Then it can jump again, so it jumps back, like so. Then we can take this top coin and you can watch one, two, jumps over. So we actually have one, two, one, two. Which is a bit strange. <laughs> uh, you can actually do it like this as well. So if I take my glasses off, Everyone see me? We're good. So the top coin I'm actually going to take and I'm going to put it. Don't do this at home, by the way. Train professional. I'm actually going to put it in my eye. Now, if you watch carefully, I can actually, I'm going to take my ring off for this. It's a bit tricky, but yeah, I can actually pull it out my eye. Watch just here. <laughs> yeah. I wish I saw your faces because I imagine it's a bit like they're all like, what? <laughs> what is going on? So yeah, we're going to take the top coin, uh, put that away. Right here. So left with just here, two. Uh, everyone see that? So I'm going to angle this down so you can see them. I'm going to put them in my hand just here. So you've got the, the, the brass here. So you watch one, two, three. Complete changes. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> uh, what's really interesting about this, actually, you can actually make the coin jump upwards. Um, you might miss this because it happens quite quickly. So, <laughs> I'll do it again. Are you watching? I can't slow this down, but you can. Uh, can you see? Can you see what I'm doing? Can anyone see? I can go from hand to hand as well, so you can actually fire it over. Can you see that? <laughs> Happens so quick. So if you're watching over here and then you're over here, so there. <laughs> um, I can actually make it jump. Um, this is quite cool. So you can actually make it jump from one hand to the other. From here. <laughs> uh, with all that saying, with all that going on, I can actually show you. This is sort of like my my one coin routine that I like to do, uh, which I think is quite interesting. So you've got the got my ring here. Can everyone see that? So I take my ring off, put it here. You can actually make the ring turn into half dollar. Uh, if I take the half dollar here, can everyone see that? It's actually a pirate dollar, but anyway, you can actually move it around. So move it back. Um, if I come over here, you can see the ring here. Come over, you can actually make it up here. Right, so, and if you watch, change back. Voila. <laughs> um, right, we're moving on. How are we doing for time, by the way? We're we doing all right. Oh, sorry. Am I? Are you on mute or am I on mute? I think you're. you're... Oh no, it was me. I was on mute. Sorry. Yep, we're still good. It's three forty-nine. OK, brilliant. Fantastic. What time? Uh, it finishes at four. Is that right? I believe so. Yep. I'm just triple checking. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So moving on, we're going to do another coins one, but this is going to this is going to get you to, to, to involve at home because I like interactive stuff. 
it's always nice to watch the magician do things, but I think it's far better when we're getting new to it at home. So I've got four coins here. Can everyone see that? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Um, what we're going to do, I'm actually going to put these coins um, in my hand like so. If I put them here. I can see all the four coins there. Can you see that? Yeah. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to collect these up and I'm going to put these on the table just here. Now, um, what I want you to do at home, I want you to pretend, and if I sort of come down here so you can all see me, I want you to pretend that you're going to pick up a coin and you're going to give it to me, okay? Now, I actually want you to imagine, so I actually want you to pick one up and actually put one directly in my hand. Can you do that at home? Yeah? So what's really cool about this? Check it out, ready? I can imagine you're doing it. I feel like you're doing it. <laughs> but watch, ready? Three, two... But not only that, on the table. Have... Oh, look, pull it down a bit so we can see. Oh, sorry. That's all right, cool. Can you see there? Is that better? Yep. So we try it again. Watch, check it out. We're going to do it again. Got all the four coins here, okay? Can everyone see? Mm -hmm. So watch. I'm going to take the top coin and I'm going to put it in my hand just here, all right? Now, the question is, did you just see me put the coin in my hand or did you just imagine it? Did you see me do it, yeah? You physically saw me pick up a coin and put it in my hand, right? Yeah. Well, see, if, if you did imagine it, I mean, I'm not holding a coin at all. And there's four coins on the table. That's uh, which is strange. And with that being said, you can actually do something with these four coins, which is really, really cool can actually make them jump um, from hand to hand. I don't know if anyone knows this. So watch. Can everyone see? Let me know again if we need to angle down the camera. So I've got four coins here. Yeah. So the first coin is going to go over. It's going to land about here. So watch. Ready? Goes up. It appears. I have three here. So we'll do it again. So we've got one here and we've got three in my hand here. So if you watch, the one's here. It's going to go up. And I have two and two. <laughs> so uh, with, these in, with these in mind. So this time round, we've got two here and we've got two here. OK, so if you watch, here we go. So here's a two, one and two. So have three, that's three, and four is weird because you can actually take the fourth one and put it directly through the hand. <laughs> which is weird, which is weird. Right, so put these over there. Do we have any lottery players out there maybe? Anyone play the lottery? Maybe you're one, maybe you're lucky. Every once in a while. Never won, though. You never won? No. Well, I actually won the other day. It's, it's a bit weird. I'll show you. I'll show you. So, <coughs> here I can I put some, Sorry, can I put some of your, uh, some of your tricks on my YouTube channel? Because they're amazing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, do what you wish. Yeah, if, if it's good material, <laughs> great. If I'm not showing you how the trick's done, then perfect. I don't think I am. I, I, I'm not flashing or anything. I mean, I'm sure I would have had more people speak up if I was. But uh, anyway, yeah, please do. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. As long as you tag me in as well, that'd be great. So here I've got some lottery tickets. Five lottery tickets. Um, have you played the lottery? Is anyone playing now? Have you ever won playing the lottery? My YouTube channel is. So um, if I do this, so here I'm, I'm actually going to take them. Can everyone see here? And if I snap my fingers, you make them change. Oh. Wow. <laughs> now, I'm, in case you didn't see, I can actually bring them up here and I can do it again. So here I've got some, uh, got about 250 quid. Uh, who knows that saying, easy come, easy go? Yeah. yeah. Check it out, ready? Don't blink. Three, two, one. Uh, 
Wow. Which is cool. Um, in case you missed it, I don't know if you wanted to maybe film the last part again, but I can just do that quick change for you if you wish. I don't know if you wanted to watch it again one more time. Is that too, is that, is that all right there? Yep, perfect. Did you make change like that? <laughs> anyway <laughs> on that note <laughs> the banter um oh this is cool this is something i didn't show you with a pen for example take a pen you can actually grab it here oh, i can rub it um you can actually defy gravity you sort of throw it up and throw it up like that uh you can actually take the, the pen lid if you watch the pen lid you can make the pen lid completely vanish um it doesn't go too far though it actually goes at my elbow if i take the pen the pen goes if i take the lid and blow the lid goes guess where the pen goes well the lid is here the pen's actually here oh we can't see oh sorry <laughs> if i angle it up there we go that's a bit better so if you watch i want you to watch the lid if i grab the pen one, two. Give me a clue. It's actually um. <laughs> All that going on, mucking around. Anyway, if we have a look at this now, so this is kind of this is going to be a little bit. So I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm going to need someone's birthday information. Is that all right? If you don't mind handing it over. If you don't, no worries. But yeah, I'm going to need someone's birthday, if that's all right, to use this. If it is anyone good with it? 6th of August. Say again, what was that, sorry? 6th of August. 6th of August, lovely. And um, what's your name? Cathy. Cathy. Yeah. Cathy, fantastic. Thank you for stepping up. Um, I'll come back to that in a minute. But um, what we do, Cathy, can you help me out with this? I've actually got six lottery tickets. These are another. Uh, I'm a bit lottery ticket crazy. These are the ones that actually you get after they printed. But anyway, I've got six here. Can you, um, uh, which 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 side do you want me to put on the table? My right hand or my left hand? Now, just to show you, these actually are all different, by the way. Just to, so I'm not trying to pull your leg. Can you all see that? Just here. And these ones as well. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to show you something else after this that involves lottery that actually ties in with both things. It's sort of like my ending trick for you guys. OK, so uh, did you say my right hand you want me to put down? No, your left. My left. See, I knew that. I was just testing you out. OK, fantastic. And you're 100% sure? Yeah. Oh, is there? OK, cool. So out of these, so we've got three here. I want you to point at any two or tell me the two. So either middle or the left or the right. Which two would you like to keep? Middle and right. Uh, which one? Say again. Middle yeah. and right. And right. So these two, yeah? You sure? 100%? Yep. Yeah. Cool. And this is completely your own choice, Cathy, okay? I don't have any influence in this. You are the boss. You are in control. So we're left with one ticket, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to, again, I'm going to angle this down, but I'm going to leave this just here. You can kind of see that. I'm going to leave it here. And also here, we actually have a five pound note. We're going to come back to that in a minute. Just a normal five pound note. I'm going to leave that here. So these predictions are here and they won't move. OK, I'm going to angle it up just slightly. There we go. Uh, and I've got my watch here as well. So can you see that that is actually telling the right time. It's almost four o'clock, correct? Yep. So I'm going to pull the stopper out, Catty, um, and I want you, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to twist it round, so I'm moving it all round. You can see it's moved round, so it's changed the time now. Yep. So, Catty, at some point, I want you to say stop. Okay. Now? Stop. Okay, fantastic. And I'm going to leave that down just at the back here. So if I move this back slightly, you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, apologies, can't see my face, but it's important these are on show the whole time. All right. So now I've got my phone here. OK, so now I'm gonna, this is where I'm going to need to get your information, Cassie. All right. So do me a favor. OK, so so what is the 6th of August, right? Yeah. So six times 
Oh, 08. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not great at maths. Oh, 08 and then times it. Can you pick a time for me? Do you know the time you were born by any chance? Um, no, but. Fine. So I want you to pick a time that means something to you. Maybe the maybe the time you handed in your dissertation, or it could be a time you know when you finished uni. Who knows? I mean, uh, pick a good time. The time you want to go out in the evening. Uh, whatever up to you. You're the boss. Um, seven thirty-five. Seven. I like your style. Seven thirty-five, and then also the year you were born, Catty. Nineteen ninety-five. 1995. So I'm going to hit equals just here. Here we've got a big long number. Can you see that? Yeah. Now, does that number mean anything to anyone? Maybe it's in your bank account, Catty, and you just didn't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> if only. But what's really strange, so look, I'm going to go back to here, and if I take the watch off, I've actually got the lottery ticket. Now, if I try and put these, can everyone see those two figures together? Yeah. Mad. If you look them up, you can actually see they perfectly identically match. So if I show you on the lottery ticket, you have three, seven, nine, two, four, three, one. So we've got three, seven, nine, two, four, three, one, just there. Now, what's really strange, it starts to get, I mean, that's strange in itself. What it starts to get really weird is that I've got a five pound note here. And if you see, there's a lucky star numbers. It says four and six. Can everyone see that? Yep. Yeah. Do, do I need to move it down? Can you see that? Yeah, so it says four and six and the lucky star. If I open up my bank note, it's been here the whole time. Obviously, five pound note. And there's a serial number. Can you see there's a five pound note? And there's a serial number just here. If you look at the last two digits of the serial number, <laughs> I believe it says four and six. Is that right? Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. And not only that, Catty, what was the time you said? 7.35, wasn't it? Yeah. That's really weird, because if I look at my watch, it says directly. I'm dying. Wow. 7.35? Is that right? <laughs> That's weird. Hey, listen, perfect. Look at that. Spot on. Very good. Also, just to just to sort of round this off, um, when I say calculate, so I, I, when I say lottery tickets, I've got some lottery numbers here. I want you to create your own lottery numbers. So can you shout some out to me? It's got between one and forty nine. So any ones you want, I'm going to put them in. Eleven. So we've got eleven times. So that's one. Third, next one. Twenty three. What was it? Sorry. Twenty three. Twenty three. Yeah. So 23. Uh, yeah, another one. Seven. Seven. Cool. Anyone else, please shout out if you want to. It's the last time to get stuck in if you want to do it. 38. Oh, what was that? 38? Yeah. 38. Like your style. Like that. Um, I can't. I, I think. Uh, how many numbers are we up to? I think we're up to five or four. I can't quite remember. Um, maybe chuck it. Chuck another one at me. Uh, seven. Seven. Cool. Um, and maybe one more just to be lucky. But I, I might have overshot it. We got one more. Three. Three. Like it. Okay. So if I e hit equals, here we have a number again. Now, I was hoping that was going to be someone's birthday, but I don't think any of you were born in 2020. Um, believe it or not, this is actually a date. Can you see that's a date? What, the second of the second? No. Second of the eighth, 2020. So that's actually the, 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 it's actually the 20th, sorry. It's the 20th of August. So if I go actually into my, I've got my, I've got my uh, photos here. If I go into my photos and I scroll through, this is me. I'm going to go to the date, which is the 20th of August. Oh, that's my, there's, there's a few, few of my, but there's actually a picture of me holding a lot of people. Can you see, can anyone see that? If yeah. I take this picture, it says the 20th of August at the top. Yeah. And I'm actually holding a ticket. If I rotate it and zoom in, I just put it on uh, I'm gonna put it on lock here. If I zoom in, you can actually see 
ticket I'm holding was actually the numbers you wrote you read out just a minute ago. Oh. So here I have, I have 3, 7, 11, 15, 23, 38. And if I okay, just, that was good. That, that's, that's, me, that's, that's me holding the lottery ticket. I was cleaning out my garage about two weeks ago and I wanted to hold on to my lottery ticket. So I thought I would just, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, <laughs> it's been emotional. <laughs> Not that I could ever see anyone. I didn't know if I... Did, did, was, did you all enjoy it? Then I can yes. see, I yeah. That was really good, yeah. Yeah. Listen, I know some of it is mind reading. It's not always going to hit. Some of it, it does. It's the way the magician world works. But listen, it's all about the audience. And you only perform as well as your, your audience. So thank you very much for getting stuck in. And um, for giving me the opportunity to show you, um, you know, my version of Close Up Magic. Thank you so much for, um, for everything that you did. So I appreciate it. I, it's been that yep. pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, guys. You're very sweet. And congratulations to everyone. What a great feeling. Uh, yes, well done, everybody. So well done for you know, getting through this year and, and getting a degree. That's that's very impressive. Degrees are hard enough as it is, let alone with the uh, with, with COVID going on. So well done, guys. Uh, hats off to you. Um, if you if you want to check out my Instagram, it's Park Magic. Uh, if you want to leave me a review, you can do so on my Facebook page. I'll, I would have really appreciate it. And listen, um, if anyone wants to learn any magic, let me know. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Guys, well, guys, thank you so much. Everybody who graduated today, again, I echo the same response. Congratulations to all of you. Um, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Uh, I do believe that you've got some other activities that you're able to participate in. So uh, feel free to jump into any of the other rooms. Other than that, have a beautiful afternoon. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. Bye.